Hey everybody, I'm Brian from Brian Keen Fitness and the creator of the GA Lean Body Program. Today I'm here with Fit Family to go through one of the workouts from my GA Lean Body Program. The main difference between the GA Lean Body Program and a normal workout routine is this is about changing your body composition so you can look the way you want to look and perform better on the pitch. Um, when I was growing up, you had to make a decision whether you wanted to do a bodybuilding workout and look a certain way, or whether you wanted to do, improve your performance on the pitch by doing a strength and conditioning workout. I figured there had to be a way to do both, so I created the GA Lean Body Program, which I'm gonna take you through today. The first movement here was a barbell bench press. We did three sets of eight reps, working within hypertrophy parameters, but trying to work a little bit of explosive power on the top of each movement so that you're able to break through tackles better. The next superset is gonna be working through glutes. Your glutes are gonna be one of the main muscles that you need to activate and fire in order to get faster, to take off quicker, or to jump higher. So it's a main priority in every version of the GA Lean Body Program. So whether you're a guy or a girl, a footballer or a hurler, a camogie player, a ladies footballer, there's different variations of the program, and this specific superset will work for nearly anybody. The only difference is the parameters, the rep ranges, and the rest may change depending on your level, depending on your goals, and depending on your gender. Today we went with three sets of eight reps on each one, a reverse lunge focus on the glute as you step back don't plant your foot directly as you come forward on each movement and keep the tension on the glute on the non-lunge leg and then you're supersetting directly in with an overhead kettlebell forward lunge so you're working through your core strength by keeping the kettlebell overhead and you're working through the glute on the lunge leg on every single rep The next was a GA conditioning superset. So this is something that I do, particularly in the summer, to try and keep my conditioning up so you're peaking your fitness levels coming into the championship and you're also able to stay leaner. So this was two movements back to back, four rounds, 25 reps on each. So the first is a spider push-up. If you're somebody that can't drop into a full push-up or a beginner or don't have the upper body strength, you can bring your knees directly up to your elbows and not press up on every single rep. If you're an advanced trainer, you can do 25 reps total on spider push-ups and then superset it directly with box jumps. Box jumps are an incredible move for any athlete in any sport that involves taking off in a sprint or involves jumping, which is nearly any sport and works tremendously well for anyone that's in football, hurling, camogie or ladies football. The key is to make sure that you explode up every single rep and you land at a 90 degree angle with your feet and your knees so that you don't buckle them forward and you don't land in a straight upright position which can put too much pressure on your knee and ligament tendons so make sure that you're keeping your focus on every single rep and you're super setting back to back which means you're doing 25 reps on spider push-up 25 reps on box jump four rounds and rest as often as you need it little tip as well add in a little s, s cup seven a bit of west life um, and that'll help you get through every single rep And then after that, give yourself a two or three minute rest because you're gonna to have to recover and then go straight into a core exercise, which is a plank reach out. So you get yourself into a plank position and then reach your arms straight ahead. So do three sets of plank reach outs, 20 reps total, 10 each side, rest for 20 seconds, do three sets, rest another 20 seconds, and then do a 60 second plank to failure. What you're doing here is you're pre-exhausting your abs, pre-exhausting your core, and then you're finishing with an isometric hold. This is one of the best ways to get a six pack, get abs, get a flatter stomach, because you're working for a contraction as you work your hand upwards and then bring it back, and then you're working an isometric movement at the end when you've already hit fatigue, which can lead to a stronger core, and assuming your nutrition's on point and your body fat is low enough, you can build more shape in your core and abs. And the last bit then is a high intensity interval training, 30 second sprint, 30 second recovery on an exercise bike. In truth, you can do this on any piece of cardio equipment, but the bike is one of my favorites because you're able to keep condition, move the level upwards, and then you're able to just move the pedals on your recovery so you don't actually have to come to a complete standstill. The key here is to make sure that your 30 second sprint is a flat out sprint, that you're literally going your 10 out of 10 and you need those 30 seconds recovery after you complete each sprint. If you're going halfway on this and you're not going to 10 out of 10, 
you're not going to get the benefit from the high intensity interval training. So the main key here is to keep the intensity high, increase the level as you need to on your sprint, and then reduce it right back and recover fully on every single 30 second recovery. Okay, so that was today's workout on a GA Lean Body program. As I said, there's so many variations and the GA Lean Body version of the program that you may be following for anyone that's coming through the program at the minute may be different because depending on your specific goals, your sport, your gender, there's a different version of the program for each person. At the minute, my particular goal is to make sure I stay lean through the summer and I'm keeping my muscular endurance and my metabolic conditioning and my actual aerobic fitness high coming into the championship season. So that's key for me. So my program is geared towards that. If you have different goals, you'll be on a different version of the program. So just keep that in mind and be sure to let me know if you try it. Hit me up on Instagram, Brian Keen Fitness and DM me if you try this workout. Massive thank you to Fifth Family for covering it. Can't wait to shoot with you guys again. Thank you.